Okay. Yeah, so I want to make these little bits that are left over from some specimen cards that I cut out with my Cree cut. Or my, uh, actually, I've swapped now. Um, I use a silhouette. I much prefer the, prefer the software. I've used that software for years for all sorts, so I'm happy now. Um, yeah, so I cut out a load of specimen cards. Uh, bigger ones, because I've got the Tim Holtz die. But anyway, so I've done some of that, so I thought I'm going to do some stamping. And I'm going to use the same flower, but I'm going to use a blue as what I've just used. And I'm going to just start stamping. Random. I think this is like field notes. It might be a couple of other ones in there. It's just it's some of my most popular ones that I use. Um, let me get that in there first because I love this stamp here, the one with the little bird. So, um, what colour? I think I'm going to use blue. And this one's quite nice too. Let's swap the colours around now. Um, what have I got? Oops. That's Grand Espresso. Okay. A bit of text. This is from the mushroom set. Let's use crackling campfire. Right, it sorted that problem out. Yeah, there was um, water going in our yard from next door. So I was just making sure that they're not being flooded. It was um, their overflow. And then because the drain pipe is blocked, it was all coming into our yard. But that's fine, as long as it's nowhere indoors. <laughs> right, let's have a look. Uh, where should we go? Oh, let's have a bit of this. Wild honey.
But you get me fingertips in it as well. It's only lazy not putting it onto a block. You should stamp on with a block, really. I think because I, I don't tend to, because I do a bit of mixed media and everything, and I don't I don't mind if it doesn't stamp properly. Um, not at all. Right, I'll just check. That's it, that's the right way up. So a bit of pink, shall we? Don't know I've used this one yet. What have we got stamp wise? Oh, that would have been nice, look. I don't think it's gonna show up really, but Nice colour. I think that's it because Tom I put the I cut them into tickets. Oh there's a little bit over there look. Um spotted there. I mean, this is going to have something on. This is just the background, so I'm not really worried about that. I think we're quite full everywhere else. A little bit there. Yep, okay. Okay, now I'm not sure whether they're too big for the new ticket dies of tim holtz i have no idea so i haven't looked so if they are i will cut my own tickets if not we will I'll have a look now so, you know these ones here i just thought it'd be nice to cut them into a ticket all right okay i'll, I'll get them out and see if it fits if not i'll find another one Okay, I found one of his, um, out of the new ones, die there, um, that one there, okay, that's 665926, because I've got the whole set of these, chapter 3, and it's that one there that fits that perfectly, well, um, just, <laughs> but yeah, so I do, oh, I didn't say, this is just like um, a plastic you know thing and i spray some stick and stay on and because it's um plastic you know things that you put on there won't won't stay well that might but yeah no, it just peels off okay so you can get a temporary one as well it's by um crafters companion And it stays on there for a while, so I can keep using it for a little while. It's just handy for these little bits, save them moving around. But you don't need to do that. But, right, they're cut out. They're, they're for something else. Okay. I think I'm going to do two. I must probably do three. say it only just fits okay we'll go 
that is very free, you know. So, yep, time they're inked up and that. Just made use of all those little bits. Should we try three? I do like to push push it as far as I can go. <laughs> bend them back into place. Ink all, all those around now. Oh, if your um, thing stops sticking to your glass mat or anything, just give it a wipe with some oh no, baby wipe. Because if there's bits of dust and dirt on here, it doesn't, it won't stay stuck. Okay. I know. <laughs> I've been there and I'm like, what's the matter with this thing? <laughs> Why won't it stay? <laughs> okay, so I'll just go, go along and ink all these now. I will do it with vintage photo. Yep. And then we'll come back to you and that's a little pile of tickets to use. Right, so I've inked them up. Some I've put little words on because I had some printed out in here that was dinky. So I put them on. Um, I, these ones, oh, and also I backed them. Yeah. So these are double, so these are quite sturdy now. I'm going to make them into like a dangle with a grommet on the top and bottom, the dangle. Okay, and, but I am going to experiment with three types of medium. These are just leftover ones, they're single. I'll put those in my little pot to use. Yeah, but they're all lovely. Okay, and I'll put them in my pot to use. Right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to use um, embossing powder on, say, two. Yep. I'm going to use three with glossy accents. And then I'm going to use another three with the... Um, br I'm going to brush on some UV resin. Okay. So... There we go. I'll experiment with that. Make it more interesting. Yeah, and we'll see the results. So this were these two are gonna be what's that? Okay, do the heat embossing first because that's no problem. We can get on with that. Right, let's put this down this is my heat map. The other ones are gonna have to dry overnight, so I'll come back to the video tomorrow. But these ones we can get on and do. Oh, I've got it out, I think. I'm like, yeah, I have. I'll use the Seth Aptor's Vintage Beeswax. Okay, it's embossing powder. It's not actual beeswax, but it's just called, I think it's textured something. I can't remember. <laughs> For the life of me, I can't remember. All right, let's get a bit of card and paper or something. Okay. Hopefully they're dry. Yeah. I have to rub that on a bit. These won't take very long. I'll put the holes in after. So if it cracks around the hole, all you've got to do is just warm it up again with the heat tool. And it's fine. I think I need to film a pot up, don't I? I'll tell you the proper name of it now. There we go. They do sell it. There's, some, there's somebody that sells it in the UK. If I remember rightly, I'll put it in the description box below. Okay, but um, in the US, you can get it really easily. Unless they sell out. It sells quite a lot of it, so it isn't really nice. But then you've got your Tim Holtz one, you've got, you've got other, you know, 
got the triple thick embossing powder, whatever it is. Actually, I'll just put a bit more in now because I might need to dip. So. I want to open it. Stop that blowing around. Okay, and while it's still hot, put it back in there. Okay, I've got plenty on there now. I think I'll do another time, that's going to be like glass then. Let's make sure I get some under where that, where the tweezers have been, yeah. And I'll swap sides now. Okay, it's always quite a lot on there. I don't quite need that much. Maybe. Certainly brings them to life. And the same with this one. So it's two done, they're looking lovely. There's not really a great lot of difference between the three things that I'm going to use. So, okay, it should be all right now. I won't be able to show you the other ones. Okay, right, so these ones are going to be, have the glossy accents on. I might have to do the other ones tomorrow because I've got to go in a minute. I've got to get tea. But if we get the glossy accents on, that can be drying overnight. This is um, called Glossy Accents by Ranger, yeah? I've got a bit of a hole there. Right, and that can be left. And specks of dust in there already. It could have done with being a tiny bit flatter because what it is, the liquid will go to the other side, so, which is annoying, but let's see if I can. this one's quite flat, so. Okay, I'm going to leave them alone now. 
Okay. Overnight. And they're going to not be so warm as those because that's got a vintagey look. Okay. Those. All right. And we'll do the UV ones tomorrow. Okay. Or it will be today in your video. <laughs> Just tomorrow for me. And that can dry. Right. Hello. It's um, the next day. So I thought I'd show you those. What I've done so far. I've just put the grommets in them. I haven't put them in them all. But there's the embossed ones. Nice warm colour. Yeah, with the vintage beeswax. These are the ones I left with the glossy accents on. They, let's say I haven't finished yet, but they are all lovely. Okay, I'll put them with those. And then you can see... The sort of warmth in that tone there. I've cracked it a little bit there, but I've left it because I thought I'd just show you what I do. Okay, I was just putting the grommet in, but these didn't crack at all with um, glossy accents. And to be honest, there's not a lot different except tone. Okay, and these are actually quite flexible. Yeah, with the glossy accents. Okay. And these, if I'd done that, it would crack. All right, but still lovely. No no problem at all. So I'm going to do, um, I'm going to show you one of the others, okay? Because what I do, I put them all, um, while they're drying and I put my timer on, because they're going to be taken most probably, I'm not going to do them too deep, but they're going to take two or three times you know, putting the timer on, I then would do the grommets, okay, make the holes, do the grommets, and then put some little dangles on and things, and I do that while they're, they're doing, that's the sort of thing I do, but all I've done with, you know, is made, made a hole with the, this one, okay, which is only putting grommets in, so just for beginners, Okay, I get, um, I don't know what these are, but they're cheap on eBay, but they fit beautifully, so it begins with D, I can't remember, sorry, I'll try and look through my orders, and if I forget and you want to know, just put a comment below and I should um, then go and do it while I'm on the computer, okay, that's, that's what I do, so I do all those like exactly the same okay but i will show you how i'm gonna do these now okay i use um i've got two makes i've got this one hold on and this one okay um i found this one better i think it dries quicker than that one okay but you know they, you get 10 bottles, can't remember how much. It was not that expensive, actually, I must say. I was quite surprised. This one came in a kit with moulds and different things. So I wanted the moulds for Jaden and a new, and a little light. So a little tiny, tiny one. So that's great for them. Okay, so I usually... Um, keep the this top on okay and then this comes off as well so you've got quite a fine nozzle yeah you don't get so many bubbles in that um, apparently if you get bubbles in it you're supposed to use the lighter so I've got that apparently <laughs> no I don't smoke weed <laughs> I don't know where I found this lighter but I found it and I thought oh I loved it and then my son come up to me, what are you doing with that lighter, mum? And I went, why? <laughs> it's got a leaf on it. He says, yeah, okay. <laughs> it was quite funny. So anyway, so, no, I don't smoke it, all right? <laughs> but apparently it's very good for MS and things like that. Anyway, right, so all I do, these are called um, UV lights. You get them on um, Amazon, very cheap. 
you know, it's supposed to be for doing nails, but <laughs> I don't do nails with it. Right. Um, I could do with something to maybe hold it down. I don't, that's it. But, uh, rather than stick my finger in it. You can, apparently, you can pl apply this with a paintbrush. I haven't done that. I could do with a, like, like a little silicone brush, perhaps. Right, better. I don't want loads on there, so... Because it's going to be too thick. So, I can't use that one. It's my favourite brush. I need an old brush, really. Oh, I don't have one here. I want to do. This is quite old. And it's quite soft. So I'm going to try it with a brush. And Because I actually just, just don't want much on there. So... Don't take very long then. Supposed to fill in the holes. I tend to use it like I do their um, glossy accents, you know. Okay. I could do with that little bit flatter there. Then not use much on here, so should be fine. I said, well, uh, it's not very good, but the light is right on here, so I'm struggling to actually see it all. I'll put a little bit more on. Be careful with the light when you're doing this too. If it, don't do it in a sunny place, it'll cure as you're doing it. <laughs> so, so it's not too sunny today, but even the light uh, cure it. You can, you don't need a light actually, you can put it out in the sun. I'm not sure whether I'm gonna put any more on not sure but I'm just going to do that once okay I'll have a look after that all right while that's doing let's show you one of these no, I do um, it's quite big isn't it that one um, I think that'll look nice on there but I'm going to take this off because it's too big Be all right on the side of the page. And then I have something. Oh, I've seen this one I've done with um, that foiling stuff, you know, like the, the faux gold foil put that in one of those and then done one with resin I'll do it one more time there and I'll have a look right what should we have down the bottom um. that's it all right, these were done ages ago with embossing powder. It's all videos. I put all my dangle videos down below. Okay, so, and sometimes if they're in a book and I want them to lie flat, I will take the jump ring off and just tie it with a bit of string. Okay, so I quite like that. And I even change that and tie it with a bit of string. Then I know it lies flat-ish. But yeah, 
is number one so i do all the same really okay so i will i don't want to let's see if i can get that off it's a green block card could do without yeah it's already done <laughs> it is <laughs> got i'll give it a trim forgot about it didn't i it's only an old one anyway so it's soft bit longer right so that's that done i'm gonna put another coat on that one was all right that one there i had enough on that so that's great these two not so much so i am gonna put that one's fine another coat on i've done that about five times because i just really wanted it hard it's most probably was done before but I just carried it on and made sure really Right, so I'll come back to you when they are done. So, four or five times at 90 seconds works. And then I'll finish it. Oh, I can um, put the grommet and everything in that one. Let's see. Let's see what happens to that. Do this one. That's fine. No problem there. And make sure if you do use the UV, oops, uh, UV stuff that you're in a well ventilated area. Okay, it's it's not the nicest of smells actually. Okay, and that works fine. No cracking, no nothing that right so I've, I've finished them all now okay um that was the last three we done yeah so i've got some dangles on there. oh the sun's coming out okay so that's the last three there's, to be honest there's not a lot different between all of them okay it's something that you might prefer using all right there these the ones the last ones i've done were more solid they're not going to move anywhere okay um those are the these are flexible but still nice and sturdy but so that was the glossy accents that's nice too and that was the embossing powder those won't be flexible let me say see the slightly cracked there but all you've got to do is reheat again and that will that will be fine okay but i like the tone of these so yeah i'm quite pleased with all those and that was just bits of scrap card that we stamped and everything and now you've got a nice embellishment for you know a page or a dangle somewhere okay well thank you very much for watching everybody and i'll speak to you later bye